Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are good wherever you are. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about plate carriers, specifically my plate carrier, uh, what I am actually running pretty much for every game at the moment. I do have a couple of other plate carriers that I use, but they are kind of set up for different things. This is pretty much what I now run for every single game that I'm playing. And it's called the Airlight SPC. Uh, now, as you can probably see, it's quite different in the fact that it has a lot of this kind of these slots cut into it, which are molly inserts. So you can run pouches, etc., on there, uh, but they're not exterior or kind of lay, um, an extra bit of, or piece on top of the actual plate carrier itself. Um, it's very, very thin material. It's kind of just got this um, webbing. Uh, it's very uh, spongy, but actually does not seem to hold any water or any moisture at all. The reason that I actually bought it is because I play in Southern California. Um, I'm from London originally. I used to play airsoft in the UK, but I play in Southern California and most of the year it is very hot here, uh, especially in the summer. Um, sometimes when I'm playing some of the sites we are, it gets over 100 degrees, uh, which makes most people say, why are you wearing a plate carrier? And that's a very, very good question. Uh, I like them a lot, mainly because uh, it allows me to just run pouches uh, and actually have the stuff where I know it's going to be. Just knowing that that's professional quality with professional material. Uh, in my head, it just makes me a lot more calm because I'm like, oh, wait. Am I actually just overheating? And if it is the best that you can get, and you, again, it's very expensive, but it makes me know there is nothing better effectively that I can wear to do what I want it to do uh, is really beneficial to me in this environment. I think if you're playing somewhere cold, that is not going to be the same. Uh, you probably want more insulation. You probably want something that might keep you warm. And so therefore, this may not be the best choice for you. Uh, but they do come with this, which basically as you pull on it, as I'm saying, if it's on you, it's a lot easier. But as you pull on it, um, it has like a leather insert that goes into the actual space here, as well as this, which is Velcro. Now down to cost. Uh, so guys, the cost of this is actually expensive. And it's going to be a lot more probably than you'll pay for a knockoff plate carrier, but it isn't actually as expensive as some of the other pieces on here, which is crazy because you think this is the main piece of it. Um, now, the actual cost of this is $185. It is so robust. Uh, it doesn't rip. It doesn't tear. Uh, it holds in place. So actually, all the pouches that are on here don't move. And that, for me, is very important. If you're running, if you're moving, which we are in Airsoft a lot, um, not having stuff jiggle around and move on you is important for me. Uh, and so that's actually what I like. Um, this guy's actually here is Velcro. I'm not going to pull off the uh, British flag here. Another thing that I think is great on this is uh, this, which is kind of like your elastic give. This is really going to be a small, and I actually like it because it doesn't take up a huge amount of space on me, which gives me a lot more flexibility and movement but it's going to be a small plate and sometimes they're hard to find however with this it does give you that option of squeezing the plate in and again it holds it in place so i've never had any movement actually from the plates i've run in here i'll talk about what i've got in here now because you're probably thinking this looks very weird why is there a hole in it another thing as well is it has the zip on panels at the back so there are a lot of panels now which you can get. Haley strategic rifle pouches, they're for your magazines. Got your Kydex style hard um, insert there. I am absolutely obsessed with. Um, the other thing that I really like about them is they have this, which is an elastic siding. These do actually come with uh, a, an elastic loop, which you can keep on there. So again, if you want more retention, you could have that there. I don't think they're necessary. I'll show you kind of how these fit in. Uh, when I put this in, there's like an audible click. So much space for you to get your hand around the actual mag. The single ones which you can get, and actually I run a single right here. This thing again clicks in. This again clicks in. Very MP5 mag pouch. I can run two of these in there. So that's a mini one. That's a big one. Glock pistol magazines. Again, I can run two in there if I want to. The retention's there. One, two, three four, five, six, six different of these Sega 12K mags. It's built for real steel. There are holes cut in this plate from Novridge. It's a skeletonized plate uh, with all the air holes through it. 
And when I was looking at the plate carrier and then looking at that, I was like, why would I buy a plate carrier with all these holes cut in it if I'm just going to put a solid foam plate underneath it? Tourniquet holders. With this, I can literally just pull the grenade, pull the pin and throw it. This is my PTT or my push to talk bottle cap. So you can probably see the teeth of the bottle cap there. Stop hot miking. A radio pouch. It hangs inside the cummerbund, attached via Velcro, and it goes into this space underneath the actual mag pouches. It's from Cry. I think this is the most expensive thing on my actual pack. So this is Velcro at the top here. Uh, I just It's kind of got Velcro on the back here. It's got a little zip. So you can actually put some stuff in as just kind of a little pocket. It's easy to put stuff into. It's got this paneled area. It's actually got a button here or a little uh, popper. So you can pop that off. It keeps it secure. And it's got a zip inside. It's got one section, which is a big kind of netted area with a Velcro strap at the top. So you can secure stuff in. And it's got two smaller of the same. I'm actually playing with a gas blowback rifle with an adapter on it, which has a line and goes into an HPA tank. However, the cost of this is almost double what the actual plate carrier costs. It's $243. These are actually mag pouches. I put the mag about halfway in, so there's all this space here. And they come again with these elastic extensions. So right now, with this plate carrier, I'm running one, two, three, four, five, six mags. It's small, it's light, it's... So guys, this is what I'm using. Um, I love it. Um, so hopefully you guys have found that useful. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications, it would be absolutely amazing. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, just reach out, put a comment below. I will put the, the links to all of these different items below. So if you would like to go and buy them or just quickly see what the cost is, see you know what they're like, what the other pictures are like, whatever that is, you have that option.